Zen and the Art of Price Corridors, a crossout video by Dangerously Incompetent. New update 0.12.5 is here! Da, 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 da. Oh, did they do the nest? Blah blah blah. Oh, nest, here we are. Model of the rockets has been increased. That was the bu bug fix because it's passing through. The rockets were passing through parts, and then it's got a bunch of nerfs. Hooray! Time to explode increased. Time to lock on increased. Reloading time increased. Increased rocking rocket turning radius. So it doesn't make turn so fast. Hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent. Excellent. But that wasn't the first. You'd think that'd be the first thing they list, wouldn't you? Because that's what everybody was screaming about. But no. First thing they list is the in-game market. Oh, and there's a special dev blog to do it. I will look at that later. Um, trade certain items with two-step authorization enabled remains. Yeah, well, I've had two-step authorization for well over a year, so meh, turn skin off my nose. And if you don't have two-step authorization, you probably should. Price corridors will now be active for players without exception. What's a price corridor? How do these corridors work? Oh, good. Now I'm going to explain. Uh, players continue to influence pricing. If supply and demand balance shifts upward or downward, the price corridor will follow its direction. Okay. Corridor is dynamic. Changes in real time. Corridor boundaries are calculated based only on actual trades. Okay, so the price corridor is based on what pro people are actually buying at and selling at, not what they're offering to sell and offering to buy. Corridor is individual for each item. Width and speed of change may differ. Okay. And what does the price corridor do? Hmm, doesn't tell us. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at the special dev blog then. Let's see what that says. Uh, changes in the market and their causes. Blah, blah, blah. Address in-game transactions when one player knows exactly to whom he will sell the lot. Yes. I wasn't aware of the term, but I was aware of what it's doing. And I know it's against the EULA, because they don't want you to spend loads of money on your account and then sell it on to someone else, because then that person isn't buying from them. They're not making any money off them. Fair enough. And... Address in-game transactions also cover things like someone steals your account and then sells off all your stuff for real-world money. Hooray! To to a particular person, which encourages people to hack your account and steal it. Uh, it also addresses uh, credit card fraud. I'll buy stuff from Tiregem, or Gaijin rather, with a stolen credit card, and then I'll log it off for real-world money, and my money is nice and clean now. Hooray! I've stolen money and it's all clean. And then there's the general money laundering, money laundering, you know, international. Take money, buy, st do do what, what the um, credit card fraud, but with actual money, but it's illegally earned money. Yeah. So yeah, I don't like the addressing game transactions either. I don't want them happening. Good. They're do well, they're doing more again ab about that. Okay. La la la, la la la. Um. Why address in games possible? Well, and there's depth of market, selling it, setting any price, uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah, all transactions are always made at favourable prices for you, but they always have been. That's that's not changed. For example, sale offer 100 coins and 150 coins, and I go, I'll pay 200. Then you purchase the 100 coins offer. You purchase the cheapest offer to sell, always. Well, apart from the old bug really. Um, very rare bug. And ah, The minimum sell price and the maximum purchase price are the boundaries of the corridor where real deals are made. Uh, I, don't, I disagree with that statement. Most of my buying and selling is way above and way below the, the offers to sell and the offers to buy. Because I put stuff on, oh, I think, let's say, is it a Hardcore, that's needed for the Hermit ST. Hermit STs are going to be, well, yesterday, loads more people will suddenly be able to make Hermit STs. I reckon hardcores, the demand for hardcores might go up, and therefore the price might go up. So I put on hardcore for, you know, 195 coins, just in case demand pushed the price up, and my one would sell. It, it didn't happen to, but that's where 
most of my trading is done. You know, I put the offer on, offer to sell way above price and then walk away and, and let the um, market vary. And if it varies up, I get to sell. If it doesn't, I get, uh, oh well. The minimum sell price and the maximum price are the boundaries of the corridor where the real deals are made. Blah, blah, blah. And oh, stuff. Uh, free pricing for people who enabled two-step authentication. Ah, oh, so the price corridors were there already if it was an item... No, if if you hadn't auth made two-step authentication, you were limited to the price corridor. Okay. So what is... You haven't exactly told us what the price corridor is yet and what effect it has. Um, interesting fact. According to the statistics, 98.5% of real sales were made within the price corridors. Well, yeah, that's the buying and selling of you know wheels and, and shotguns and stuff, isn't it? That's where most of the sales are. Most most people are buying some. Oh, and um, resources, of course. There's a lot of trades on resources. And the remaining 1.5%, the share of fraudulent transactions is about 90%. Well, that's a lot. And so, and that 1.5% is where I've been buying and selling for most of my profit making. Um, for the majority of cases, the ability to set any price is used to make it just saying, well, that's a, yeah. Is you majority okay i disagree with that as well because that's where my trades were uh ability to trade certain items with two-step authorization remains enabled price corridors will now be active for all players without exception but well, still haven't told us what exactly what they're doing and how do these corridors work uh well that's what just repeating what they said on the first page so I'm um, all I know is that price corridors are active for everybody and they're based on the actual buying and selling prices people what what people have actually bought for not what they put down offered to sell for hmm let's go to the market in game I should have finished um up downloading the update by now off to the market 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 what do we think oh let's have a look at it's topical Hermit ST, because I've just made some yesterday, having unlocked them, and maybe I want to say, oh, the price is down already. Oh well. But maybe you'll flex up again, up down, because you know people might run short of the parts they need, so the price might go up. So I might well put down some Hermit STs, because I've got how many have I got? I got four, so I can afford to sell one or two. Yeah, so. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to sell, and I would put it on, uh, you know, 250. It might not get to 250, probably won't get 250, but it might, there's a, there's a fair chance it'll do it, and I'll just slap it on the market, that offer on the market, and in three days' time, it'll either have sold within that time, or it'll expire. So, I want to, and I generally put it, you know, 25% more on for something as commonly traded as a hermit. If it really gets popular, you know, 50%, 100% more. Oh, these these buttons are new. Maximum, that usually means maximum. That's the maximum. 222. That's 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 10%. Oh, come on. Yeah, 250. 222. 10%. Well, how, what's the least I can sell them for, then? 177. Well, I guess we know what the price corridor does then. It limit it limits the range of offers you can offers to sell you can make. Does it do the same for buying? Uh, yep. So the offers to buy and sell are now restricted to the price corridor. Oh, that's going to be painful. And I guess. 222 was the last time anyone bought some offer an offer to sell or is it the offer to sell that sold plus a bit uh, maybe maybe not hmm. let's look at something a bit more extreme let's look at paints 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 epic paints there we go yeah I've been buying and selling epic paints I've been doing that for ages 
very low turnover. The price, so the price varies up and down hugely. If we look at the trade and parameter. Oh, are those funny symbols. Can you tell me what that means? Two-stage authentication. That's what that means. Yeah, obvious. Two stages and a key. Yeah, right. Okay. So that means the price corridor is active. Okay. So yeah. So I've been buying at you know 750 to 800 and then selling at 1400 because there's only eight for sale and five to orders to buy. With so few people buying and selling, the, the price just goes up and down and up and down. And somebody comes on going, oh, I must have the paint grid. And the only offer on, the, the, the lowest offer to sell, is that from dangerously incompetent fellow. And he's selling it for 1400 Ka-ching! Yeah. Bought it at 800 sold 1400 That's 600 minus 60 for the 10% market tax, 540 profit. Okay, only happens rarely, but it happens often enough. I can, just, I don't have to keep on clicking, clicking to get it to happen. I just put it on and then wait. So, what can we sell for? Is that the limit? Twelve hundred thirty-one. It's not even as high as the current offer to sell. So I guess the last time anyone bought from an offer to sell was 1231 or 1200 and then it added plus 30 for the corridor. I don't know. The minimum I can sell it for is 808. So I can't even sell it for offer to sell it at the lowest offer to sell. Do you know what? That's most of my profit making in the market up the spout. Absolutely knackered. Because I make my big profits. Well, they're usually rarely made profits, but I make my big profits on stuff like the grid. I put the mark, yeah, put a really high high ball offer, and soon, every so often, someone buys it. Oh, knackers. And that might knacker everyone's marketing, actually. Because I have noticed that previously, over time, and uh, the difference between the offer to sell and the offer to buy shrinks to about 10%. It doesn't seem look like it here, but this is a very rarely traded item. On the really commonly traded stuff, the difference tends to be 10%. Like uh, the hermits, they were that was ten percent between the differences. Um, let's have a look at uh, common shotgun sledgehammer. That's bought and sold a lot, isn't it? And when, what's the difference between the buy and sell price? Is less than ten percent. So you can't flip this because the ten percent market tax will get rid of any profit. What's the most we can sell for? 34 and then at least 26 so 34 from 28 is 6 so that's about 20 percent minus 10 percent tax well 20 percent profit you could do that makes 10 percent profit oh that's gonna slow my money making down so 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 much I do not like these new price corridors. I do not like them one little bit. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to rely on my long-term trading end because I don't want to spend my time buying and selling, and put, putting the taking the time to work out what to sell, and then put the offers in just to get 10% profit. That's a lot of more work. I'm going to have to rely on my long-term buying and selling, you know, like the Mexican Day of the Dead stickers that I bought up really cheap last year. I wonder how much they're, they're going for, their corridors are. And then, you know, nearly a year later, I've been selling them for hundreds when I bought them for ones and twos. Let's have a look at you, shall we? So... 
So that's the sort of range, the buying and actual buys and actual sells. And if we look at one that hasn't gone up yet, so much. Um, Eagle and we, yeah, has that one? Got, that one that doesn't that look like it's gone up because I haven't sold loads. See the oh, it's all oh, painful. Yes. Well, that's absolutely terrible. I feel like throwing my keyboard through <laughs> through the monitor. <laughs> nah, I don't really. It's just a game. And I do have big piles of cash compared to most people. Oh dear. Mind you, this is just my first reaction. I've only had half an hour to think about this. I may well make another video after I've had time to digest and all this information, have a think how I'm going to circumvent it and how I'm going to make profit in the future. Because price corridors have put a big crimp on my profits. Well, that's it for this video. Ooh. Like and subscribe, etc, etc, etc. And uh, now enjoy, well, I'll give you 20 seconds in case I ever get to put you know, cards on the end of my videos again, uh, of my latest drift car. That's my newbie drift car. You can tell because of the colours of the paint scheme, right? It's that newbie, not Ravager.